Good morning, guys and girls. We're going to be talking today about probably one of the most important species for both our inshore uh, angling guys on the boats and for our rock and surf guys. That is the Natal snook. Now, Natal snook goes by quite a lot of different names. It's not the same as the snook you get down in the Cape, completely different species. Um, they're also called queen mackerel. And for our Afrikaans guys, it's a gespikkelde katonkel. Now, the scientific name, uh, Scombro moiris plurilineatus. Now, that obviously means pluri, so multiple, and lineatus, lines. And that refers to the actual shapes and patterns that you're going to see on the actual fish. You've got a lot of little broken up lines and dots and, and spots that sit all the way along the sides of the fish. In terms of the actual look and things like that of your Natal snook, he's got a deeply forked tail. So a very, very deep fork into the tail. Quite a long, elongated fish. He's flattened on the sides, so he's, he's not a round shape. And like we mentioned, he's got those lines and spots that go all the way along the fish. He's got a sort of a mackerel-y kind of top color to him, so that bluey green uh, sort of color, it sits right along the top. He's got very, very sharp teeth. Now, a lot of guys do like to use, uh, when they're spinning and things like that, like to use wire. I personally don't. But if I am pulling fillets and things for them, which we'll get into the bait section in a bit, then I would use wire because those teeth are razor, razor sharp, especially when you get your fingers in there. Otherwise, he's got quite a small head for his size. He's kind of like those Labradors that are a little bit overweight. The head looks a little bit small for the, for the actual body, especially when they get to the bigger sizes. Now, your distribution wise, in um, South Africa, you're really getting them only in KZN. Uh, they have been recorded down into uh, the Eastern Cape and things like that, but it's very, a very, very rare occurrence. You're really looking mainly in, in um, KZN itself. They spread all the way up from, say, Kenya down to SA, and you do get them on the west coast of Madagascar and all the way into the Comores, into Seychelles, um, and that sort of site. So, yeah, it's really this Western Indian Ocean side and mainly focused uh, close to us. In terms of where to find them, you're looking mainly, they're mainly shallow water fish, so let's call it roughly 15 meters of water. Um, on average, you do get them out into further deeper areas, just depending on the water conditions and obviously the time of year and things like that. If you are targeting Natal snook, the, one of the main words that, that we like to use is rips, rips and current lines. So off of river mouths, which is where you're going to find them a lot, you get the, the current that actually gets pushed out of the river and it forms either a, you normally see it with the color of the water changes. So you get the brown water from the river or the stained water from the river and then the ocean water making a clear, clear line between the two. And what that does is it concentrates baitfish. So baitfish in the area see that as a solid wall. They, they can't think that they need to go through it and it's going to be safe either side. So they sit either right on that wall or just inside or just outside of it. And the snook take full advantage of this and they patrol up and down those color lines. So obviously when it comes to targeting them, you want to be fishing on that color line. So if you're on a boat or even if you're from the shore, you want to be trying to spin either if the line is, if you're throwing over and bringing it through, or if you can fish along it, it's even better. What they eat, the, the rivers often push out a lot of the little glassies and little bait fish that are stuck in the rivers and the snook love that. Any small little bait fish they really, really enjoy. But otherwise, your, your mozzies, they do eat them. Uh, this, this time of year specifically, they do like to eat the anchovy shoals that come around. And yeah, any sort of small silvery kind of fish they're going to they're gonna love. They do also feed on mantis shrimps and any of your migrating prawns and things like that, stuff that's going to be in the water column because they are pelagic species, they're not feeding on the bottom, they're feeding up in the, in the water column. And uh, squid, it's also quite a big part of their diet. So your bay squid and things like that that we get here, they do really like to eat. There, there are two basically snook runs, if you want to call them that. There's the, the downward movement, which is from Mozambique into KZN, which is about October, November sort of time. Um, so that's when we get the snook coming from the north down to the south, so obviously downward movement. And then they also go in about May or so, they're moving back up into Mozambique. So this kind of time of year, they're gonna be moving back up. So you start catching less of them, but you're normally getting them on the points that when the Northeast blows, you get the, the color lines that are sitting on the, on the Southern side of points. And that's generally the side that you'll catch them on, depending on these movements, obviously. Now, 
size-wise. Uh, maturity is about 72 to 78 centimeters is where they kind of mature. That's the fork length. Remember the snook, you measure to the fork, not to the tip of the tails. Um, and they are very, very fast growing fish. So that maturity is reached in about two years. So it doesn't take them long to get up to that size, which makes them quite a sustainable fish in terms of uh, actual capture and keeping. The spawning probably occurs off Mozambique. That's in, in our late winter. That's kind of the most information that I can get off that. Now, in terms of your sizing, there are a few contradicting views here. The max size that's been recorded is, well, scientifically recorded is 1.17 meters to the fork length, which is a massive snook. Um, and the size of that was 12 and a half kilos, and it's around about six years old. So, I mean, that grows like that. They're very, very quick grows. Your average snook that you're going to get, um, the normal guys are quite small. You're looking at around about three to four kilo range. But later in the season, a good snook would be anything from five to seven kilos odd, and a giant is anything over 10 kilos, which we do get. In terms of the research side, uh, IUCN uh, listed as data deficient, so obviously there needs to be more research done on it. That's something that we need to push. And SASI listed as, a, as green on the list, so that's a sustainable species that can be harvested. You allow 10 per person per day, which is a lot. Uh, there's no size limit or anything like that. Obviously, we recommend you only keep what you're going to eat fresh. And if you are going to keep a fish, this is one of the species that would be a good example to keep as opposed to something like your rock cods or blacktail or bronze bream or things like that. This is a much better fish to target for that. In terms of targeting them, uh, we'll have a link to the video on our my recommended spinning setup for them. That is one of the best ways to catch them with a lure because often they can get quite finicky, even with the right lure or small little baits and things like that, they do still get finicky. But other times they will throw absolute caution to the wind and eat a whole mackerel. So important for both, both aspects there. Uh, spinning little lures, very, very effective. Offshore, mainly fillet baits. So your, your normal snook fillet bait, trawling that behind the boat is, is very effective. And other than that, it is, yeah, a very, very fun fish to catch. Can absolutely drive you mad because they can refuse everything, follow lures until right before your feet and then turn away. But when you do get them on fire, they are phenomenal, phenomenal fish. So yeah, Scomboromoyris plurilineatus, the Natal snook. Cheers, guys.